So, Archana ji, where are we today? Namo Narayan. Today, we are going to see, we have seen the uh, meaning of the first nine mantras or the names of Durga. So, today we are going to start with the 10th one, which is Durgama Dnyanada. Durgama Dnyanada. What is Dnyanada? Da Yachati. Da is to give. Da Yachati to give. What does Durga Devi give? Dnyana. She is the giver or the bestower of knowledge. And not just any kind of knowledge, but Durgama Dnyana. What is Durgama Dnyana? Durgama, something that is rare, that is difficult to grasp. And it can be grasped only with the grace of Durga. So, what is the Durga Madhyana? We have seen from time to time that Paravidya is Durga. We have Aparavidya. We talked about it before from time. And we have Paravidya. Aparavidya is the Adhivautika Shastras, physics, chemistry, biology, and all that. Then we have Adhyatmika Shastra. In the Adhyatmika Shastra, it deals with uh, questions like the origin of the universe. How did this? How was this universe born? How did the whole thing begin in the first place? How <coughs> is the world moving, etc. Adhyatma Vidya comprises of darshanas. Darshana means philosophy. In Sanskrit, darshana means philosophy. Tattvadhyana is darshana. We have Vedanta Darshana, we have Sankhya Darshana. Sankhya Darshana, Sankhya Buddhi, Tatasma Jatam Tat Sankhyam. Buddhinishta Tatvadyan. Buddhinishta Tatvadyan is Sankhya Tatvadyan. In that we deal with Prakriti and Purusha, they are the cause of the universe. In Vedanta, Brahman is the cause of the universe. That is the originator, the very first thing from which the, or, the universe originated, that's Brahman. So that is Durga Madhyana. Vedanta Dhyana is Paravidya. That is Durga Madhyana. Now, if we look at the Upanishadas and so many treatises of, written on Vedanta, they all say the same thing, that grasping the nature of Brahman is extremely difficult. Only certain <coughs> few can realize, understand that. It is discussed as no iti, no iti. That means it is not this, it is not that. There are no words to describe it. So it is said no iti, no iti, no iti. Then also it is said in the Upanishadas, naya matma pravachane na labhya, na medhaya na brahuna shirtena. You cannot grasp the nature of Brahman by just lecture, listening to lectures, or even by your intellect nor by learning, not by a lot of learning. You cannot understand that. Now this Atma or Brahman, so Atma Shrotavya, Mantavya, Nididhyasitavya. This is all Vedanta philosophy. The knowledge of Atma should be listened to, contemplated upon and meditated upon. Shrotavya, Mantavya, Nididhyasitavya. So that is the nature of Brahman. So that is a Durgama Vidya, difficult to understand. Paravidya, which is far beyond dealing with a relationship of Jivatma and Paramatma. And even in Vedanta, the way the Acharyas explained the relationship between Jivatma and Paramatma, they are different. Shankaracharya had Advaita Vedanta, Vallabhacharya had Shuddha Advaita, Naramadhyacharya had Vishishta Advaita. They had their own different views of looking at Vedanta and the relationship between Jivatma and Paramatma. So, with this vast knowledge, Durgama Dhyana, who is capable of giving that to us or making it accessible to us or facilitating our progress to understand the Durgama Dhyana, that is Durga. That is why Durga is Durgama Dhyanada. Very nice. But I was just thinking of one thing. 
this atma they say exists beyond the senses and this atma can be perceived only once you transcend their mind how many of us can actually transcend the mind or you transcend the mind how many of us can even control the mind how even let that go how many of us are even aware of the capabilities of the mind we function on a very low level of awareness of chetana and when we are stuck into a problem for us that problem becomes the end of the universe there is nothing beyond the greatest problem in the world is the problem i am facing that is my mentality how can i come out of that mentality after that has passed everybody thinks oh come on that was just one problem there is life more to that or if somebody else is facing that problem then we will you know see pains about how life is so much more than just this problem and that problem but when it happens on us are we able to experience that knowledge experience that and behave accordingly very rare how can we implement that that is very rare very hard very difficult bhai ma takes us to that highest level which was being discussed just now there is no doubt that is the highest knowledge and that is the only knowledge which actually has any significance but i am stuck over here my mind cannot even comprehend that high magnitude so does it mean that durga is of no use to me no she picks us from where we are and helps us go beyond experience that oh there is something more and i can do it she gives us that knowledge that yes it is possible then she gives us the strength and she gives us the perseverance so that we can actually undertake it and this is not simple this is quite rare until and unless we don't connect to those higher faculties it doesn't happen this is what mother gives us that is the blessings till now she was removing the difficulties for us now she is giving us that knowledge we spoke earlier about when we were little babies our mothers used to keep us away from the fire and then a time comes when the mother shows you the fire oh that is the fire that fire is dangerous but that fire is something which is very powerful that higher ability for the child it is an amazing moment and we get that knowledge we progress and next step and the third step and the fourth step and this way ultimately we have to reach that point of aparavidya a uh, sorry of paravidya we are in apara how to reach there it's a journey of 1000 miles but the journey of 1000 miles begins with the first step and everybody who has taken the first step knows that the hardest thing to do is to take the first step once you have taken the first step the next hardest thing is to keep on taking those 999 steps so that you can complete those 1000 steps not easy so things are durgam at all levels and she step by step takes us across the levels of dip- difficulty till the highest where we can ultimately one day transcend all of this that is durgamat gnanata so when we say durgamat gnanata all these bhava should come 
بدین است